The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. That I once heard a fantastic piece of history and story from the Chafetz Chaim. The story goes, and this is not in all religious historical books, because it involves a part of the Chafetz Chaim's own family that, from a religious perspective, is tragic. Chafetz Chaim had a granddaughter, and this granddaughter was stuck behind the Iron Curtain until late 80s. I heard the recording of this story from Rabbi Shamshan Pincus' daughter, who recounted this at a Beis Yaakov convention, and she told the story of her father finding out in the 80s that an elderly granddaughter of the Chavetz Chaim had made Aliyah to Eretz Yisrael and was living in a secular kibbutz. He went with one of the other descendants of the Chavetz Chaim, Rav Zaks, to visit the Chavetz Chaim's daughter, granddaughter. At first, she pushed them off. You could imagine, here's the Chavetz Chaim's granddaughter, 70 years later, in Eretz Yisrael, in a secular kibbutz. What a fascinating and complicated tension. Eventually, she says, I'll tell you one story that epitomizes many things, because they were looking for stories about the Saba Kadisha. And with that, I ask you to leave me in peace. Don't tell the press who I am. And sure enough, she tells them one story. She said, when I left Radin, at that time people would go to university to actually truly study, not to party. And after a year or two, I was about 18 or 19 years old, I missed my parents, my grandparents. I had gone to study in Russia, which was then beautifully, had beautifully developed cities. St. Petersburg had a beautiful campus and a university. There were locomotives that were then traveling through the city. There was also a zeitgeist of tremendous intellectual curiosity. And I go off to study in university, and I decide it's time to come home, just to visit, just to visit. She said, you have to understand what the trip back was like. She said, I get onto this beautiful train, this coach, and as I head towards the hinderlands of Lithuania, the train stops, the locomotive stops, and they switch into a rickety train. The train eventually stops entirely, and I go to a horse and buggy. As we get further into Lithuania, there's no more electricity. We get closer to Radin, there's no more running water. I come into Radin late at night, and as the picture, the story, picture story goes, the Chavetz Chaim's house has a burning light, a candle, that's still burning while everything is dark in Radin. My parents are already asleep. I figure I'm going to go into the, my Zayda first and say hello. I went into my Zayda. He was bent over his farm and learning. And he sees me and he greets me warmly. And I was so happy to see my grandfather, but I couldn't hold back. After three, four minutes of saying hello to him, I said, Saba, Zayda. I'll say it in the Yiddish, the way she recounted it. Via zoi zitzir da mitem lecht. How is it that you're sitting here by this candle when the entire world is discovering things? <coughs> the world is being developed, and you're still stuck in this room with these old books and the candle. Quite a question. And the Chavetz Chaim responded to her, Toch dir ibis gerecht. Dort in ze lernen wie a der Welt geht. There they learn how the world goes. Aber da in Radin, by dem lech, but here in Radin, by this candle, mir machen Menschen, we make people. <coughs> the Chavetz Chaim didn't reject the value of the dual curriculum in this story. The Chavetz Chaim said there is a value. And there's a requirement for a person to make a, earn a parnasa. But at the end of the day, everything in which we perceive the entire physical world, the entire scientific world, is through the candle of Torah. 
through the candle of Torah Mevi'ali Dei Zihirus Vizrizus V'chulay. And sometimes what happens is that we exchange that candle for a pragmatic world. We exchange that, pra- that, that candle for a material world. And we lose sight of what we're really here for. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.